Hi there, it's Mrs. Croft with math. I'm so happy you joined me. I am one of the second grade teachers at Early College Prep Academy at Loman Hill Elementary. Today we are doing Mod 3, Lesson 3. Understanding place value units of 1, 10, and 100. Here is our learning intention for today. We are learning to count up and down between 90 and 1,000 using ones, tens, and hundreds. And we know we've succeeded when we can show how you count up from different amounts using ones, tens, or hundreds. Our vocabulary includes base 10 numerals, ones, tens, and hundreds. And here are the base 10 blocks. <clears throat> Place value, the value of a number in a certain place, the ones column, tens, and hundreds column. And word form, the names of numbers like 16 written out, like 8 written out, E-I-G-H-T. Let's do some fluency counting by fives on a clock. Are we ready? Let's start at the 12 again. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's right. How much time has passed? Well, you're right. If we went all the way around the clock, that's 60 minutes. What if we went like this? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and we kept going until we got over here. How much time would that be? You might have to go back and count again until you get to the nine. Yeah, it's a 45 minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and we count really fast because we're good at counting by fives. What if we took off 10 minutes? What if we were here at 45 minutes and we took off 10 minutes. What's 45 minus 10? <laughs> That's right. 5, 10 back would be the 7. So if you need to go back 10 and then count again, it's 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. Very, very good. That is a little bit of elapsed time. Here's our application problem for today. AJ decided that he would bike 100 miles this year. Wow, if he has biked 64 miles so far, how much farther does he have to bike? So our hole is 100 miles, and one of our parts is the 64 miles he's already biked, but what is left? We know if you're missing a part, you have to subtract, <laughs> yeah. so. Well, we're going to do it a little bit different. Hmm, this looks like addition. Well, we're going to work back from the 64 to the 100. I know to get to the next 10, I need six more. So I would make that 70. And then I know if I'm going from 70 to 100, I need 30 more. So I'm counting up two. That's another strategy that you can use once you make your tape diagram. Whatever's easiest for you. We're going to show you a ton of strategies. We're going to show you how to use a number line and the arrow way and number bonds and counting up and two digits and all kinds of different things. Use the way that lets you find your answer the best way for you. Okay, so we're counting up to the 10 and then up to the 100. So then we're going to add these two parts that we added on together to get 36 miles. And if you need to check, you take 36 plus 64 to get 100 because 36 would be your other part. All right. Counting up by tens and hundreds. There's that bundle again. How many straws were in that bundle? Oh, it's a big bundle. That's right. There are a hundred. Very, very good. So we're going to take that hundred and we're going to take the 10 and we're going to take the one and we're going to count up. We're going to use ones, tens, and hundreds to count up from 90 to 300. So should we just start counting with ones all the way 
91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and wow, you're right. That is not an easy way, a quick way, or the best way to add up to this hundred, okay? Can we just use hundreds? Can we say 90 plus 100 is 190 plus another 100? That gets a little confusing. So we're going to use the smallest amount first. There are no ones, so we're going to start with tens. You're going to count up from 90 to 100, right? 90 plus 10 is 100. And then just like those missing numbers, you're going to take another 100 to make 200 and another 100 to make 300. Wow, that's going almost off of our screen. So if we counted up from 90 to 300, how many would we add on? Let's count them. 100, 200, 10. So 90 plus 200s and a 10 equals 300. You just did addition. You also did subtraction. 300 minus 90 is 210. Counting up helps us do that very easily. But you always want to start with the smallest amount you can. Let's count up from 170 to 500. Should we use ones? No, there are no ones. Use tens. We need to use tens so we can get to the next hundred. So 170, 180, 190. Uh-oh, is it 190, 10? <laughs> no, it's 200. All right, so 70 plus 30 more is 200, but we need to go to 500, so let's keep going. 300, 400, and 500. Ah, they're up above my head. <laughs> Let's see how many it took to get from 170 to 500. 100, 200, 300, 300, 400? No, we got to switch in our brains to tens. Be sure you're looking at their bundles. 310, 320, 300. 40. No, that wasn't right, Mrs. Croft. 310, 320, 300, 200. Ah, now I'm so confused. 310, 20, and 30. 330. That's right. Wow. Sometimes if your tongue gets tied or you lose count, you have to go back and count it all over again. All right. Now let's count up from 300 to 480. Should we use ones? <laughs> no, there are no ones. Should we use tens? Ooh, not this time. Why not? Because there's no tens in this number. There's tens over here, but we're not there yet. We need to start with this one. So we're gonna start with hundreds and count up to 480. So 300. 400. Well, we're already at 400. Can we add another 100? No, that would be 500 and that's too much. So now we're going down to the next value, which is tens. So we have up to 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 400, 80. Wow, that looks like it could be a bundle of 100, but it's not. It's only 80. Okay, so we have 180. Wow, 300 plus 180 equals 480. Why is that? Well, it's one more hundred. Look at that. And then it's 80, eight tens. Hmm. Sometimes you can just look at the numbers if you know your place value. That's why it's so important to know your ones, tens, and hundreds place. All right. Here we go. One more. Count from 874 to 1,000. Wow. That's a four-digit number. All right. Should we start with hundreds, tens, or ones? It's tricky. Yeah, there's ones. Always look with the number that you're starting. Look at the number you're starting with and count up. So we're going to start with 74, 75. Can we use tens yet? Nope. 
76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. There, now we're at a 10. Now we can use 10s. 880, 890, 890, 10? No. 900, that's right. And one more hundred equals a thousand. Nine hundred, a thousand. Wow, wow. Okay, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 90. Yeah, 900, <laughs> not a thousand yet. And then one more hundred. So 126. 874 plus 126 equals 1,000. You could say that as an addition equation. You could say it as a subtraction. 1,000 minus 874 equals 126. Whew, that's a lot of counting, but if you take it one at a time, and you remember, if there's ones, start with ones. If there's tens and no ones, start with tens. If there's no tens or ones, start with hundreds and count up to the next number just like on a number line. All right, that was a lot today. I totally understand if you need to go back and watch it again, and uh, then you can do your exit ticket. So you're going to draw a line to match these numbers to what you would add. So you have to be careful and look, are there ones or hundreds or tens, and what are you going to need? And draw your lines to match them. You're going to take these bundles and draw how you would count up. And then you've got some homework and some problems filling in numbers in your journal. So we also have some games, same games that we had last time. We have the place value video, 10 ones make 10. That's such a fun song to sing. The hockey score base 10. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next time.